I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5. First alert storm team here with a tropical update on this Sunday afternoon. As of the 4 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, we now have potential tropical cyclone 6. Now, the reason why the National Hurricane Center has given it this name is now it can issue full advisories and issue watches and warnings on this system. And tropical storm force winds are expected over parts of Mexico in the next 48 hours. They want to be able to issue advisories on this system. Right now, the center of circulation is not very defined still. So that northwest movement at five miles per hour is uh, kind of a rough estimate of what they're seeing. But maximum winds are at 50 miles per hour and the pressure is at 1,003 millibars. So here's the latest track on potential tropical cyclone six. Again, 50 mile per hour winds right now. It'll move to the northwest and eventually to the north, staying in the far western portions of the Gulf of Mexico, riding along the Texas coastline and pushing towards Louisiana. So the current cone shows. But remember, this will likely change as still does not have a good defined center of circulation. So once that becomes more defined, those forecast models will have a better idea of where the system will go. Now, by the time we hit 1 p.m. Wednesday, it'll be a Category 1 hurricane, as of the latest track from the Hurricane Center, before making landfall, again, somewhere between the far eastern portions of Texas along the coastline and along the, or along the Louisiana coastline. Once it push, pushes inland, it will become a lot weaker. Those winds will die down. But note that the News 5 viewing area is not within the cone of uncertainty, but we could still see some gustier winds, rougher surf, and also higher rain chances by Wednesday and Thursday of the coming week. So here's our tropical steering. What's allowing this thing to move? We have an upper level high that's in the eastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. So with that ridge in the eastern parts of the Gulf of Mexico, that will allow this to stay in the western portions of the Gulf of Mexico, riding right along the western Gulf Coast. It will continue to move to the north over the next few days. As it gets closer to the Texas and Louisiana coastline, it will take a northeast turn as that high backs off just a bit to the south. And that's where those best impacts are expected in parts of Texas and Louisiana. Of course, for the News 5 viewing area, an increase in moisture and some stronger winds, especially offshore. Here are those latest models and timing, again, pretty much in line with that cone from the National Hurricane Center pushing towards far eastern portions of Texas and western portions of the coastline of Louisiana, then pushing to the north and northeast. It becomes a lot more uncertain once it makes landfall, but overall, again, Areas to the, on the east side of the system still going to see a good batch of rainfall. And those all the way to New Orleans, parts of uh, we the News 5 area, Mobile to Pensacola, could have a good batch of rain, four to five inches of rain over the next several days. A lot of rainfall expected along the Texas and Louisiana, Louisiana coastlines as well. So local impacts. Overall, waves are going to get up to four to eight feet by Thursday as the system makes its way through the Gulf. So we'll have a high risk for upcurrents by Wednesday. Moderate to heavy rain, most likely on Wednesday and Thursday, increasing wind speeds as well. Again, this will change depending on uh, you know, when we nail down the track of this system. Again, things could change. So always make sure to stay up, up to date on all the latest updates. We'll have those on air and on WKRG.com. There's a couple more areas we're watching. One is a high chance of development in the central Atlantic. It's moving to the west-northwest. And another one is just to the east of that system in the eastern Atlantic. A 50% chance of development, so a medium chance in the next seven days. Overall, right now, U.S. impacts are not expected from these systems, but just a couple more areas that we're watching. Of course, like I mentioned, changes can still happen, so always stay up to date. Have multiple ways to get warnings, especially if you're in the path of this system, and just stay up to date on air and on WKRG.com.